is disabling at times. If there's not a railing or a banister, I will freeze. I'll begin to sweat. I will have to reverse direction and get back to my comfort zone. Yes, I'm afraid of heights. It affects my daily life. One time when I was 15 years old is when I first realized I was afraid of heights. I was visiting St. Paul's Cathedral in London, England. Ascent toward the top of the cathedral. I started up the steps and I could not make it past one or two flights. To overcome my fear of heights, I've tried something very extreme and that was actually to go skydiving. Upon reaching the proper altitude, when they threw open the door, I froze up. I panicked. I uh, clenched onto my instructor and I asked him to not let me jump. My, uh, my fears really get the best of me at that point. So what are you trying now? I'm going to try trapeze. A lot of people come here because they have a fear of heights and they want to come specifically to conquer that fear. your chest through and the very last thing is to kick your leg down. They come in with so many blocks to accomplishing what they do on the trapeze and to see them achieve what they think is really really hard is really really inspiring. The most important rule, you want to try to follow our instructions and not only do what we say but try to do it when we say. The trapeze is all about timing. How's it going? It is going fantastically. I mean, it, I'm gradually getting a little, little smoother at it. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot, to, a lot to learn, but it's awfully fun. It's, uh, it's a real rush. <laughs> Are you going up? I guess I'm going up. Yellow on left. Uh, regular on right. What I do when people are afraid, get down really close to them, you're going to be just fine. Stand all the way up for me now. Very nice. Good. Step around towards me, face the ladder where you came from. Good. How do you feel up here? Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> well, sweating is a natural part of a nervous reaction. And it's a little warm out. I'm sure you'll do just fine. This is not with a knee hang. When I say ready, bend your knees. When I say have to hop. Can you climb all the way up for me? Ready. Hop. <laughs> I don't even know what to feel. I, I was up there, I was just taking instructions. I, I, I didn't even have a chance to think about where I was at, what, what I was doing. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't look at the ground. I don't know. It, it was amazing. It was amazing. So what is this now? We're doing catching. Okay. I'm going to give her good catchable hands. <laughs> But she says, gotcha, I'm going to grab, and I'm also going to straighten my legs. Uh, hooked my legs, closed my eyes, and I reached. She said, gotcha, and uh, for the entire time I was, I, was, I was waiting for her to grab me, my eyes were closed because I um, couldn't look. And it was just funny because uh, Lizzie goes, you can open your eyes now. What an incredibly fun class. And I, I, I think that everyone here did something that they weren't sure they could do. Absolutely. And I hope had a wonderful time doing it. It was amazing. I had no idea I had it in me. I, um, Astonishing. 
It was awesome. It was totally awesome. It felt like I was flying. I should have brought my hot pants. Yeah. I'm actually here today because I'm afraid of heights, and my friend here is filming for a, a school project of a person overcoming their fear of heights, or trying to. Oh, wow.